It's Thursday. It's another episode of The Real Deal. And today I'm gonna to be answering the question that's all on your minds. Is there gonna be any more homes to buy this year? If you're looking for a home to purchase right now and having trouble finding one, you're not alone. At a time like this, when there are so few homes for sale, it's normal to wonder if you'll actually find one to buy. According to the National Association of Realtors, across the country, inventory of available homes for sale is at an all time low. The lowest point recorded since NAR began tracking this metric in 1982. There are, however, more homes expected to hit the market later this year. Let's break down the three key places they'll likely come from as 2021 continues on. One, homeowners who didn't sell last year. In 2020, many sellers decided to pause their moving plans for a number of different reasons, from health concerns about the pandemic to financial uncertainty. Plenty of homeowners decided not to move last year. Now that vaccines are being distributed and there's a light at the end of the COVID-19 tunnel, it should bring some peace of mind to many potential sellers. As Daniel Hale, chief economist at Realtor.com notes, quote, fortunately for would-be home buyers, we expect sellers to return to the market as we see improvements in the economy and the progress against the coronavirus. Two, more homes will be built. Last year was a strong year for home builders and according to the National Association of Home Builders, 2021 is expected to be even better. Quote, for 2021, the National Association of Home Builders expects ongoing growth for single family construction. It will be the first year of which total single family construction will exceed 1 million starts since the Great Recession. With more houses being built in many markets around the country, homeowners looking for new houses to meet their changing needs will be able to move to their dream homes. When they sell their current houses, this will create opportunities for those looking to find a home that's already built to do so. It sets a simple chain reaction in motion for hopeful buyers. Three, those impacted financially by the economic crisis. Many experts don't anticipate a large wave of foreclosures come into the market given the forbearance options afforded to current homeowners throughout the pandemic. Some homeowners who have been impacted economically will, however, need to move this year. There are also homeowners who didn't take advantage of the forbearance option or were already in a forbearance situation before the pandemic began. In those cases, homeowners may decide to sell their houses instead of going into the foreclosure process. Especially given the equity in homes today, Lawrence Young, chief economist at NAR, explains, quote, given the huge price gains recently, I don't think many homes will have to go to foreclosure. I think homes will just be sold and there will be cash left over for the seller, even in a distressed situation. So that's a bit of a silver lining in that we don't expect a massive sale of distressed properties. As we can see, it looks like we're going to have an increase in the number of homes for sale in 2021. With fears of the pandemic starting to ease, new homes being built and more listings coming to the market prior to foreclosure, there's hope if you're planning to buy this year. And if you're thinking of selling and making a move, doing so while demand for your house is high might create an outstanding move up option for you. In summary, housing demand is high and supply is low. So if you're thinking of moving, it's a great time to do so. There are likely many buyers who are looking for a home just like yours. And there are options coming for you to find a new house too. Let's connect today and see how you can benefit from the opportunities available in our local market. 
That's all we've got time for today on this episode. If you've got any questions regarding the content today, please comment below. Again, I appreciate all the time you take in watching my content. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.